Hey guys, it's Jason with Tandy Labs. Today we're taking a first look at the Tandy 4850EP. Now this is one of our rare computers in our collection. The Tandy 4850EP was released in 1993 at a time when computing power had busted wide open for both gaming and multimedia tasks. Its biggest selling feature was the 486DX2 processor. However, it was made less of an asset by the fact that it didn't have any L2 cache. Power users of the day might remember opening a computer case to install tiny little SRAM chips on the motherboard or swapping processors in the early days of the ZIF socket. For your efforts, you could then watch your system go from a slow, glitchy, hard drive killing beast to a finely tuned machine. Actually, it was pretty common for manufacturers to find shortcuts like this, and if you follow computer tech, you know that they're twice as good at it today. Now that isn't to say that the Tandy 4850EP was inexpensive or low-end. The Tandy 4850EP was marketed as a multimedia PC and could be acquired from Radio Shack for the low, low price of $34.99. The standard configuration included Intel 486DX2 running at 50 MHz. It had a math coprocessor, which I totally could have used in middle school. 4 MB of RAM, upgradable to 32 MB had 512 kilobytes of video memory, 120 megabytes of the IDE hard drive, MS-DOS 5.0, and Windows 3.1. For some perspective, less than 10 years before the Tandy 4850EP, only 640 kilobytes was the most RAM you could get in a personal computer. Now the Tandy 4850 has over six times that amount. The graphics system alone on the Tandy 4850EP has four times as much RAM as the entire Tandy 1000 system. Also, keep in mind that a modern budget system in 2019 might have literally, now this is no BS, 2000 times as much RAM as the standard Tandy 4850EP. Now we found our system on eBay for $375. It included a handful of manuals and accessories, specifically, the 4850EP User Guide, 1.44 megabyte floppy disk versions of Microsoft DOS and Windows, specifically for Tandy, still in the plastic. We had the uh, 1.44 megabyte floppy disk version of Microsoft Works for Windows version 2 with installation manual and user guides. Now, looking at the system, you'll notice that it has no signs of discoloration as you might expect for a 15-year-old machine. Other users have said that the plastic covers tend not to degrade much over time. Now overall, the system was in excellent shape with some dust buildup inside. Looking at the front, you can see the 4850EP badge, the reset switch, three and a half and five and a quarter inch floppy disk drives, and the power button. Now on the side, you'll notice the slits for ventilation. The back contains the exhaust fan, the AC power connector blocked and unused sound jacks from the 2500 enclosure, two game ports, a printer port, keyboard and mouse ports, and VGA out. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Be on the lookout for this 4850 in future videos, and I hope you're as excited as I am to see some of the other systems we're adding to our collection. Now make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and comment down below on the things that you'd like to see. Also, you can check us out at our Tandy Lab Facebook page. Now, we're always looking for sugar daddies and sugar mamas on the show, so if you'd like to be one of those, you can find us on Patreon. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and be on the lookout for this and other great vintage systems.